If you ever shopped around for web hosting, you've probably seen this. 99.5% uptime, 99.9% uptime, even 100% uptime guarantees. But what exactly does that mean, and is a higher uptime really better? Here is a chart of uptime guarantees from an assortment of 20 different web hosting providers. As you can see, uptime start at 99%, there's a 99.5%, a 99.95%, even more 99.99%, and finally a few 100% uptime guarantees from these hosting providers. I even found a 99.999% uptime guarantee in Microsoft Azure's service level agreement for certain configurations of their Cosmos database and cache servers. In any case, the difference between 99% and 100% is negligible, right? It's just a 1% difference. But it's important to understand what this uptime translates into downtime for your website. An uptime of 99.9% .9 means that a website could be down for 0.1% over the course of a year. There are 24 hours in a day and 365 days in a year, so doing the math that means that your website could be offline and inaccessible for over 8 hours during the year. This is even worse with a 99.5% uptime guarantee which equates to nearly 2 full days of downtime. And finally, a 99% uptime guarantee translates to over 3.5 full days where your website is inaccessible over the course of a year. For some small websites, downtime might not seem like a big deal. But for websites that are generating income, every minute of downtime translates to lost revenue, and I've actually experienced this firsthand. Back in 2021, my hosting provider WPX experienced an outage, which resulted in all of my websites going offline for 5 hours. Now, I don't generate a lot of money from my website's ad revenue, in fact, I earn just about $5 per day, and this averages out to approximately 20 cents of income per hour. So during the five hours that my websites were offline due to downtime, I lost $1 of income. Honestly, not a big deal, but you can imagine how a large website with a lot of traffic, or even an e-commerce website, would lose out on a ton of revenue during an outage like this. My hosting provider offered compensation for the downtime, but you had to reach out to them directly, and this seems to be the case for other hosting providers as well. Getting a partial refund on your monthly hosting costs is nice, but it's really nothing when compared to the lost revenue for some websites, so that's why I see most uptime guarantees as comforting, but certainly not an end-all be-all. Another hosting provider called Presidium has an honest blog post regarding the fact that a 100% uptime guarantee is a myth, and I have to agree with them. So what about your website? There are things that you can do to minimize downtime. Having multiple instances of your website running at multiple data centers in combination with a load balancer will decrease the probability that your website goes offline. If one of these instances goes down for whatever reason, traffic can be instantly routed to the other. Load balancing and high availability hosting are complex things to implement on your own, so I recommend that you choose a hosting provider that has these features built in. I have never had direct experience with them personally, but InMotion Hosting has reasonably priced high availability hosting with triple failover redundancy, and WP Engine has even more sophisticated solutions for the most critical websites. If you want to set up an uptime monitor for your website, I have this video right here which will show you exactly how to do that for free.